Hey everybody, Leah Klett here with the Christian Post. And my guest today is Jacob Cummings, who stars as Daniel in the live action theater production of the Old Testament story, now playing at Sight and Sound Theaters in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. You are playing one of the most beloved Old Testament heroes on stage. This is a tremendous responsibility. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> So what were the aspects of Daniel's character that you found most compelling that made you want to play this character? And how did you really prepare to, you know, portray his unwavering faith? Yeah, I think the thing that struck me most in reading about Daniel was just his steadiness, um, his steadiness throughout his life um, in the midst of trials, um, even in the midst of joy-filled moments like he was just a steady guy um I tend to be a little bit all over the chart <laughs> like most people um and so that was a interesting challenge for me was uh, approaching a character that honestly I didn't relate to very much but I, I took it as an opportunity to learn a lot about him and in turn learn about God deeper um and it's been a really really awesome experience so far so how do you approach bringing to life, the vivid dreams that, that he has, and then, you yeah. know, the, the lion's den, the fiery furnace and all these epic stories to the stage in a way that resonates with both theater and film audiences. Right. Well, our team, I, I won't give too much away, but our team has done a tremendous job with, um, really bringing these moments to life. Um, the direction has been awesome. Just, um, our producer, uh, who has also helped with some of the direction, she, um, really studied the text uh, tremendously in depth. Um, and uh, she took a lot of opportunities to um, just explore uh, the deeper meanings behind a lot of the dreams and a lot of what the prophecies were fulfilling. Um, and so it's been an interesting challenge. It's a very dense story. It's a dense show. Um, but I think we've done a good job of making it really approachable for families and for people of all ages. Um, my my three-year-old daughter loves the show and she sits through the entire thing. So. Oh, I love that. I love that. Well, how does performing for a live broadcast really differ from traditional stage performances for you? I've had the opportunity to see some of the sight and sound productions and they're so incredible, yeah. but I watch and I think that must be exhausting. You guys are doing <laughs> so much. All right. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't vary too much from what we do for any audience. Um, the The hope is that it's going to feel um, very much in line with what we do every single day. Um, in terms of sustainability, it's the Lord. I, I really can't ex express that enough. Like the Lord just really sustains us and gives us all that we need. Um, it is a lot <laughs> to do what we do, um, but uh, the Lord's grace is so good in all of it. I love that you talk about, you know, the steadiness that Daniel had throughout the Old Testament stories about him. We're in a time of global upheaval. There's so much anxiety. Why do you think we really need to be reminded of his story right now? Right. Yeah. I think his story could not be more relevant than it is right now. Um, I think we're in the midst of a lot of lines being drawn in the sand as a nation, as a, as a society. Um, and the world is telling us that we really have to make, um, stances and, and where we, um, and where we see things. And, um, I think what Daniel proves is that you can be a part of a kingdom that has nothing to do with God and serve him faithfully while being a good steward of where God places you, um, I, I've learned so much about that, and I feel like um, audiences will too. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about that. How what, what have you heard from audiences who have watched this production on the stage? What are some of the responses that have really stuck out to you? Yeah, I think a lot of what people are taking away from the show, this show, this story, I should say, um, has a lot of different messages. So I actually was really fascinated to see what people would take from the show as well. Um, what I've been really intrigued to see is that a lot of people, especially people that um, are believers who are part of the church, are coming and just seeing this as an opportunity to step up in their faith um, and to really um, continue to uh, 
uh, serve faithfully in the time that we're waiting for our king to come. Mm -hmm. um, that's been a big part of the message. The king is coming. Um, and so in the meantime, be faithful and know that rest is coming. Yeah, I love that. Well, Jacob, how has playing Daniel impacted you personally, your spiritual walk? I imagine that a lot of biblical research went into this character. And when you read the Bible, you just become sanctified, right? Um, right. The Lord more so. How has your spiritual walk been impacted by this journey? Um, it's been a journey uh, <laughs> to take the word right out of your mouth. <laughs> it's been a journey. I think that um, the Lord has allowed me to face a lot of trials along the way, if that makes sense. A lot of, um, you know, people might call them setbacks. Um, but I think the Lord has just, a lot of times when we do shows at Sight and Sound, it's interesting how the story that we're presenting sort of manifests in the lives of the people that are presenting it. And that this show has been no exception. Um, we've had a lot of um, adversity and um, a lot of hurdles that we've had to jump over, but the Lord presents those as opportunities for him to prove himself and to show himself faithful. And so my faith has grown tremendously in this time. Um, and I'm really grateful that the Lord has not let up in any of that. Can you share about some of these hurdles or some of the obstacles you've yeah. made? Sure, I'd be happy to. Yeah, I, I, some of it has been just vocal fatigue um, and just watching the Lord continue to sustain me, knowing that I don't really have anything to give on a certain day. Um, and whether it's been like, you know, this show's very media forward. And so um, whether it's been like a, a situation where like the media has maybe like gone out or something like that. And just to see the Lord continue to show through and to show the message and present his word and to, for it to not return void and to see the audiences continue to be impacted and to continue to um, heed his word. Um, it's been really, really special. Wow. Well, Jacob, what separates sight and sound from some of these other, you know, theater productions that we see? What makes this company so special and what made you want to be a part of it? Um, I think so from an early age, I, um, I loved singing. Um, I, I really didn't get into theater until I was in college. Um, but I always wondered how I was going to be able to take my abilities and, and present them in a way that was a, an offering to the Lord, um, and that honored him. Um, and I, I actually was a part of a theater conference, um, where I was auditioning for a few hundred different theater companies and sight and sound happened to be one and the Lord just orchestrated in such a kind way for me to be able to, to work here. And, um, I haven't wanted to leave. I've been here for 10 years and I'm so grateful to be able to share my gifts and my abilities in a way that is also presenting the gospel and changing lives. And, um, it's been an enormous blessing. Yeah. So it's, it's just been so rewarding is what it's I mean. Been, yeah. For you to be a Absolutely. It's a ministry. Yeah, it absolutely is. Yeah. Just incredible. So, you know, Sight and Sound has such a rich history of bringing these Bible stories to life. Are there other characters or stories that you want to bring to life in the future? That's a great question. Um, we've done a lot of my favorites. Um, one of my favorite shows to have been a part of was Joseph. I love the story of Joseph. Um, I got to do that in 2015. Um a story that I would love to see. I would love to see some stories from the New Testament. Um, I would love to see a show maybe about Paul. That would be a lot of fun. Um, and just to see like anything I think like from Pentecost onward would be just like, I think a really impactful experience um, for the audiences. It's sort of what we're living in, in today, you know? So um I don't know what's in store for Sight and Sound. I'm not privy to that information, <laughs> but I would love to see something like that. Maybe we'll see Revelation one day. Ooh, can you? That imagine? would be an interesting <laughs> one to mount. <laughs> that would be no small feat. Let's say that. Absolutely not, but I would love to see that. Yeah. Well, Jacob, what do you hope after audiences watch this show on stage, what do you hope they are talking about? What do you hope they're thinking about, feeling, praying about? Yeah, I think that um, a lot of what we mentioned earlier, I think um, our world is in a crisis right now of identity. 
And I think my biggest heart and maybe the biggest burden that I have for the church right now is to really identify who you are in Christ. Um, and I think that the world is going to pull you in a lot of different directions. And the reality is that the Lord has told us that we are not of this world, but we are called to live in this world and we're called to um, be good stewards of um, the paths that the Lord takes us on. And so I hope that people are encouraged walking away from the show, knowing that um, wherever the Lord has placed you, um, he's equipping you and he's calling you to stay true to the word, um, to not be unwavering in who he's identified you as. Um, that would be my biggest hope for people.